Well, hello, everyone. I hope you have had a wonderful last 24 hours or the last week since I have last chatted with you. This is Henry, and thank you for listening to Ticket to Life. Um, anything new with you that I should know? <laughs> I wish I could talk to all my listeners. Um, I'm getting close to my one-year anniversary, which is very exciting. So excited. I can't believe I've, um, it'll be March 30th. So, um Thank you again for listening, all of you. I can't even tell you how appreciative I am of all the listeners. It just makes my day knowing that so many people uh, care to hear what I have to say. Um, But, you know, we all do have a voice. We have a voice, and some of us aren't sure how to use it or are afraid. So this podcast being on using our voice saying what's on our mind. I've always said there's two ways of saying things a kind way and uh, maybe not so unkind way, but we should always speak our mind. Unless it's really going to be hateful or hurtful to someone, maybe you should rethink it. But that's why they always say think before you speak. I try to do that, but sometimes it just doesn't work. (laughs) I don't think before I speak and I have, as I've said in the past, it does get me in trouble. So uh, the other thing is guilt. How many of you have guilt? I have guilt. Uh, Being raised Catholic, I think when they baptize you and you get christened uh, as an infant, they must say, and along with the blessing, you will feel guilt for the entire uh, uh, life (laughs) that you are here on earth. I don't know. But uh, I've gotten better about guilt. But yeah, I still feel guilty about things, and I, I will let things that I have happened like many years ago, and I'll start thinking about them, and I'm like, how could I have done that, or why did I say that, and I get over it, yes, because again, there's nothing I can do about it now, um, but anyway, guilt is something we all have, and if you don't, I don't know what to say, <laughs> because I think it's human nature to have guilt for certain things. Um, but I know I have it and I know several people have it. I mean, you know, they they may say, oh, I don't feel guilty for saying that. But then later on, you can tell they felt guilty for saying that. Now, there are people who have picked on people and have no guilt. They had, they don't, oh, well, they made me mad, but it was something dumb. I was, here's my story. I was in fifth or sixth grade and there was this girl And she was a tomboy. And in case some of you don't know what a tomboy is, a tomboy is a girl. And she was kind of hefty. And um, she just liked to do things guys did. And that was fine. Well, we were friends. Well, one day after lunch, she came and um, she was a bully too. Uh, Maybe that's why I was her friend. (laughs) No, I didn't want her to bully me. No, she was, she she could be mean. She was kind of, like I said, kind of a big Helga looking person. That was not her name. But um, anyway, and she came up and she goes, where's my lunch money? And I'm like, your lunch money? She goes, I had, I think she said like 15 cents on my tray. Of course, you know, back in the day, that was a lot. I said, I didn't get your lunch money. Well, so-and-so said you got my lunch money. I said, I did not get your lunch money. Uh, trust me, if I needed 15 cents, I would have asked my dad for it. But, um, so she gets me and gets behind me, grabs my shoulders and knees me right in the tailbone. Yeah, she broke it. Now that's a bully. It was horrible. So of course I'm like, I I even heard the crack. I could hear it. Ah, this hurts thinking about it. So she broke my tailbone. And I was accused of taking her lunch money. And I told her she didn't, that, you know, I didn't, I don't know. And then she walked away. And so, of course, my mom calls the parents and parents are like, oh, well, she didn't mean anything, you know. And I had to walk around from class to class with a cushion. Yes. And do you know how embarrassing that was? <laughs> yes, it was. So wherever she is, if you're listening, 
every so often I think of you. Uh, <laughs> so that is being a bully. Being a bully can be so hard because I think bullying has become a really bad thing now. I mean, you hear about it in the schools that you have to belong to a certain type or a certain group of people. And I wonder about this. Do the, these kids have guilt for being so harsh and mean and saying hateful things? And of course, as we all know, social media does not help. And you hear about these poor children, and they are children. If they are teenagers and still living under your roof, they are children committing suicide over horrible things that these people are doing. Are these young kids, but well, my thing is, are the bullies' parents not aware of what their children are like? Are they not involved? Because hopefully the parents, well, I guess you learn from your parents, and some of these parents could be bullies. And kids have just inherited. But if you know of anyone being bullied, do not hesitate to tell someone. And this even happens in... The adult world, believe it or not, adults are bullied too. They can be put on a spot by someone and said hateful things. And that's just what they do. And you're kind of like, wait, they're adults. How can they be bullying other adults? You know, oh, I saw what you did. Well, you know what? I'm going to go tell her you're such an ass. Or, I don't know. I'm whispering. <laughs> that's so funny. But um, I I just I find that hard to believe that in our life, our life, the, the way the world is, we've got enough bad things already going on. So why do you need bullies? We have a bully in the neighborhood. We got someone here in my neighborhood that he is just, uh, I mean, anything someone says positive about, he is always ready to knock it down and just be hateful about it. So most of the neighbors, because I live in a half decent neighborhood, well, actually, it's a really decent neighborhood, but they, there's always a bully and, and they're negative. And I'm sorry what happened to you in your life, but guess what? We're all adults here. So that's not going to happen. Um, we don't allow that to happen, but you really do need to talk. I'm always telling you, talk to your kids. It's so important the kids don't feel like if they want to fit in, oh, they need to go join a gang. Oh, they need to go shave their head. Oh, they need to go get a uh, some certain body part pierced. They don't need to have that. But you need to talk to your kids again about bullying. I know that's kind of a silly thing. You may think, well, they're old enough. They know. No, they may be too embarrassed to talk to you about it. Hey, yeah, somebody was talking about me and then they, you know, confronted me because you know what? Our kids are going to make mistakes and hopefully they can come to you no matter what they do. And remember, whatever you do, put yourself in their place again and remember what you were probably doing at that age. And if you say, oh, I was in a church every day, okay, then definitely you're probably Catholic and feeling guilt. But I just hate the fact that there's so many horror stories about kids being bullied, you know, take this drug, try it, you know, and then that fentanyl thing, this, that, that is just horrible. Talk to your kids about drugs. Talk to your kids. Talk to them. And yeah, they may feel guilty because they have done something, but if they come to you and talk to you, that is such a blessing right there. You want uh, to always have an open communication with your kid that they can come to you and talk to you about anything. I did not mean to gear this towards kids. I, it's just that's I, I obviously I love children. They are our future. So it is up to us as the adult to direct them into the right path. In the Bible, Jesus says, and don't quote me because I'm not the best uh, person to quote the Bible, but he says, we have a narrow path. We'll Will, which will give you everlasting life. Then you have the wide path that eh, not so many people take that narrow path. Many people choose to take that wide path. And it is true. It, I mean, I've taken that wide path. and was like, whoa, where am I going? So I'm, I'm, you go back to that narrow path. But sometimes things seem tempting. Um, 
I can't say that anything's real tempting to me right now to go that wide path. <laughs> but we do need to talk to our kids. They are our future. And talk to them. If you you know your kids, you should know your kids well enough that you can tell when they're guilty about something or hiding something. Um, but don't yell at them. Yell at them after you find out if it's really bad. Especially if you find out your kids are bullies, then don't yell at them. You need to find out what is the cause of them um, being bullied. Or, be, I'm sorry, for them being a bully. Or vice versa. Just I just want you to talk to your kids. It's just so important um, that to find out that all these kids are being picked on. So you, I want kids and I want adults. I want us as adults to be able to speak out. Um, if you see that a child is being bullied, don't, don't turn your back because I don't know that child. I don't know, but I, yeah, the kids were being really rude, knocking his, his, uh, backpack off or just, his back or something, just anything, anything you see, you know, confront that person. It's so important that we go and talk to people when we see something horrible happen. There was an incident at one of the smoothie places here in the town I live in, and a mom had posted it on uh, the local Facebook page, you know, and um, she said, I want to thank the employees at the smoothie factory for backing up my daughter. And then she goes into the whole long story that her daughter had just started a job. Okay, when a teen gets a job, that's a big deal. First of all, they're showing responsibility. And second of all, teens working in school, that's a lot to take. That's that's a lot. They're going to school, they have a job, and they're being responsible, which is great. But apparently, um, the young lady had been on the job a few days a week. I don't know. And mom had said that uh, she wanted to thank the manager and the employees that were there and any of the other customers that were there for uh, supporting her daughter. Because apparently, the smoothie that a woman had ordered was uh, not correct. So uh, she, the woman, the bully lady uh, starts raising her voice, getting loud, says it's horrible. She wants her money back. So they kindly give her her money back. And she had the audacity to get the smoothie and throw it in the young lady's face. Now, I'm sorry. It's a freaking smoothie. Shame on you wherever you are. And if you hear this, I hope you know you are a horrible person That's a bully. You feel like you can bully a young girl because you're older and bigger, perhaps? I don't think so. Be kind. That's that's pretty easy. I I think it's easier to be kind than to be nasty. So where I'm getting at is I think people, and I'm wondering, again, guilt. Did this woman feel guilty afterwards? Okay, okay. Then then you go to this with people saying, well, you don't know what she was going through. She could have, you know, found out she was sick or someone died or blah, blah, blah. Yes, that's true. We don't know what each individual is going through, but that is no cause for anyone to be so hateful and rude and nasty. You know, take the other road and say, okay, this I'm, I'm having a bad day. I apologize. Could I just have my money back? This isn't what I ordered. Hmm. Or is it better to make the big scene so you can tell everyone, oh, she just pissed me off and I threw that drink on because, of course, people, of course, she thinks people are like, ooh, ah, you're so tough. But inside, people are thinking, you bitch, why are you being mean to a kid? So again, be nice. I have no idea where this podcast came from, but it was just important for me to talk about guilt and using our voice. Somebody, and and they did try, they made the lady leave the store and say, never come back. And they did comfort the daughter. And I hope she is still there. I have no idea. I hope she is still there. And because not all humans are as hateful and nasty as this individual bully of a woman. And yes, there are men like that too. I've seen that too. I just don't get it. I don't understand it. 
the men who just think because they're bigger and louder than other people feel as though they are above and beyond, and they are not. So again, I'm not a fan of mean people, obviously. Be kind. Just be kind. Because life is too short, and all this nastiness that some people do, this is going to come back and bite them in the ass. What goes around comes around. My sister used to always tell me that, and I believe that. So anyway, this is a crazy little podcast about guilt and being picked on and using your voice. Don't hesitate to use a voice, but when you use your voice, use it in a kind, gentle way. And if they don't accept that, then turn around. Be the better person. Two wrongs don't make a right. I have not had any incident happen. I just felt like it needed to be told. People just need to be nice. And it's not hard. If you do get in a situation where someone is really nasty to you, take a deep breath. Do the five, 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 five breaths in. (laughs) Hold for five seconds, five breaths out. And be done with it. Because it takes too much energy to get all that negativeness. I don't know if that's a word into you and it and it can happen. It can ruin your day with someone being hateful and unkind. So the best thing for all of us to do is talk to our kids, try not to feel guilt, use your voice, use kind words and walk away from any nasty situation because those people and you know who you are if you're listening are just nasty like Putin. He's a nasty person. He is, and if you're listening, Mr. Putin person, you're a horrible person in my mind. Not that it matters, but I think you're a horrible person for what you're doing. I'm sorry, I guess that's getting political, and I'm not supposed to talk about that. I'm just so sad about the Ukrainian war. It's been going on for a year. It's, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But anyway, I'm all about peace, love, and rock and roll. Love life. Enjoy what you have. Count your blessings because we have blessings around us each and every day. So thank you for letting me vent because apparently I needed to vent about nasty people and (laughs) feeling guilt and using our voice. Use your voice and always use it in a positive way if you can. Thank you for listening. I love every one of you. Go find your blessings.